Hello again, I'm Kyle, and welcome back to Bedtime Verses with Kyle. Just a little poetry to help you get ready for bed. Tonight we're back with more John Donne and his Holy Sonnets. Holy Sonnets! Uh, three and four. Well, let's just jump into it and uh, we'll see what they're about. Death, be not proud, though some have called thee mighty and dreadful, for thou art not so. Well, this will be interesting. For those whom thou thinkst thou dost overthrow, die not, poor death, nor yet canst thou kill me. From rest and sleep, which but thy pictures be, much pleasure then, from thee much more must flow. And sooner our best men with thee do go, rest of their bones and souls' delivery. Thou art slave to fate, chance, kings, and desperate men, and dust with poison, war, and sickness dwell. And poppy or charms can make us sleep as well, and better than thy stroke. Why swellst thou then? One short sleep past, we wake eternally, and death shall be no more. Death, thou shalt die. All right, that's cute. <clears throat> He's having a positive uh, mood swing here, being like, death doesn't kill me, he just, he puts me to sleep, and, what is it, uh, for those who die not poor death, so, death is merely taking his portrait, uh, but thy pictures be, from sleep, which is very pleasurable, uh, and then even things like poppies, so, uh, what is it, heroin, <laughs> it wouldn't be heroin, it would be opiates, Opiates and charms make people sleep, so sleep is enjoyable. Death is really just a kind of sleep, therefore. Right? Okay. So, and then you sleep a little bit, and then you wake a time as your soul ascends or descends, perhaps in John Donne's case. A pleasant fiction. Eh, well, it's certainly good to not let death have power over you. It's certainly true. There's nothing you can do. But what is it? Again, Hamlet says the same thing. Uh, to sleep to dream, right? Okay, <clears throat> number four. Batter my heart, three-personed God, for you, as yet but knock, breathe, shine, and seek to mend, that I may rise and stand, overthrow me, and bend your force to break, blow, burn, and make me new. I, like an usurped town to another due, labor to admit you, but oh, to no end. Reason, your viceroy in me, me should defend, but is captived, and proves weak or untrue. Yet dearly I love you, and would be loved fain, but am betrothed unto your enemy. Divorce me, untie or break that knot again. Take me to you, imprison me, for I, except you enthrall me, never shall be free, nor ever chaste, except you ravish me. He wants to let God into his heart, but can't. This, this is good, so, uh, you're forced to break. So he's basically saying, just smash me to pieces, like just... Crush my defenses. That's interesting. Even at the very end, he wants to, but can't. Hmm. I wonder how that wrapped up. Well, that's all for today. Thanks again for joining me for Bedtime Verses with Kyle. You can follow me here, subscribe to my YouTube and my website, and there'll be new videos every weekday night. No, I want... There'll be new readings every weekday night at 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Good night. Sleep time.